Power cuts are a real inconvenience, both at work and at home. But having a backup system is a real simple way to beat power cuts. Builders have a wide range of backup power options, both for home and office, from generators to battery powered solutions like this inverter, and even smaller units that can be installed in your car. Today, we're installing this 1400 watt backup inverter. It's a real simple plug and play system. I don't even need any tools. Let me show you. What I really like about this setup is that the inverter has been pre-mounted onto the portable battery box. All the battery wiring connections have been done. You do not even need an electrician. Simply plug the power lead into the 220 volt main plug circuit and plug in what you're wanting to power to the outlet plug. A short extension lead is provided, but you may need to add a multi-plug. So which inverter should you buy? The absolute first step is working out how much power do I need to run what I need to run? So here I want to run my TV, soundbar, internet and modem, desktop computer, and a light. Now the total estimated power consumption is 300 watts. Now this inverter is rated at 1400 watts and we're not even close to overloading the system. If we do, it has built-in protection. It's also advisable to overspec your inverter slightly to prevent you running it at maximum power for extended periods. A 15 to 20% buffer is more than enough and 20% on this setup means we can comfortably draw 1100 watts. Now this setup has the batteries inside the box. It's a 24 volt, 102 amp hour setup. This inverter produces a modified sine wave, which is not recommended for appliances with an AC motor or an element such as fridges, toasters, hair dryers, kettles, and water pumps. And we're receiving about 230 volts. Now I've set the battery charging to 10 amps. You can fast charge on a 20 amp. However, for battery longevity, it's always recommended to charge at a lower rating. Now to charge these batteries from empty will take about 11 hours at 10 amps. The fan will run when you're using battery power or when the system is charging. And when the batteries are fully charged, the fan will switch off. And there we have it. The lights and the television are running. And when we have a power cut, it's it. The lights and the TV are still running. And now we can see that our input has changed to an output of 230 volts. Our load is around 200 watts. And when we turn on the desktop, that'll get closer to the 300 watts that we estimated earlier. It really is as simple as that. A plug and play solution that still has capacity for me to add more. As to how long the batteries will last, that depends on your consumption. This inverter is available at Builders, in store or online at builders.ca.za. And for more power backup solutions like this, check out the links in the description. Get to Builders, get it done.